getting your home assistant set up and dashboards just how you want them inevitably will lead you down the road of using Hacks, the home assistant community store. And in this video, I'm gonna be going through five front end components, which I think you're gonna need in your installation. everyone and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek. So in this video, I'm gonna be going through five front-end only components which are available via Hacks, which kind of like will, you know, make your dashboards uh, an awful lot better than kind of like the bog standard stuff that you can set up uh, just kind of like straight out of the box with Home Assistant. So without further ado, we'll jump right in and take a look at the first one. So first up, I have got logbook card. Now, uh, in the default installation of Home Assistant, there is a logbook viewer. Uh, you know, I personally think it's a little bit clunky. Um, you know, probably could do with a little bit of an update. Kind of lists everything there. You can filter by an entity. There's a date and time on that, but it is pretty limited. It, it does the basic job, I think, is the way of explaining it. Um, this is where logbook card by uh, Roytu. Uh, hopefully I've gone and um, said that person's name right. Um, you know, aims to kind of improve upon that. Uh, you know, it's got some significant uh, quality of life improvements, I guess, is, uh, is one way of putting it. So um, you, know, you can uh, set it up so that it only looks at specific types of entities. Um, you know, so maybe you just want to look at uh, lights uh, that are on, or maybe you just want to look at doors. Um, you know, you can quite easily do that. So, um, you know, I'm going to set it up here, just go through it on my, um, my kind of like my test dashboard. And it's really straightforward, um, you yeah, know, but it's, it is quite configurable. I think, you know, you, you read the uh, kind of the uh, page for it on GitHub and, um, you know, see what you can actually do. I, I've set this up to just list out kind of my front door and back door. Uh, the the events for that and just with the minimal amount of YAML you know it is really quick and simple just to get something that's very very clear set up that I can go and put maybe on a diagnostics page uh, or a kind of like a system information page something like that within my home assistant dashboard but it's a highly configurable front-end component and you can do all kinds of things with this you can really get it to uh, you know the styling of it and things like that to to get it exactly how you want it uh, you know, in terms of devices, well, you know, you, you don't have to use it for kind of like front doors and back doors in your house. Uh, you know, you could have it, um, you know, monitoring things like on your uh, home assistant server, or maybe you've got a NAS or something like that, and you, you know, you could set up something like that. So you kind of think outside the box. I've given you a really simple example there just to show you how quickly you could actually use it. But, um, you know, a, a lot more useful as a, as a card. Uh, than the kind of like the standard logbook that you get with Home Assistant. Okay, so next component that I've got is the uh, send notification uh, component. Now this uh, really simple one to have. It's by someone called Bernica. Hope I've got that right. Uh, you guys really don't make this easy uh, to say out your names. Um, but this is uh, well, yeah. You know, if you're a parent, you've got kids, and you can't get them down for dinner in the evening or something like that, uh, this is going to be a, kind of like a bit of a godsend for you. So um, this, you know, ideally this would be, a, you know, if you've got a wall mounted tablet, something like that, you could put that on there. Um, but basically you can send a notification out uh, to whatever devices you, you want to, whatever you set up in the, in the YAML. So I'm just going to put this onto my test dashboard. Um, now, I'm going to set this up so that I can uh, send a notification to my Pixel phone and the Echo Dot that's actually in this room that I'm recording in at the moment. Um, and all I need to do is just type a message uh, into the uh, kind of like the box that I can input on there, and then I click the uh, the send button, and it will send the notification out. And uh, it's pretty pretty quick. It is a little bit slower to come through on the uh, the Echo Dot, but um, the app pr picks it up uh, pretty quickly. Um, and I think that's really useful that. So, you know, if you've got an Echo Dot maybe in the kids' room, uh, instead of like yelling up to uh, that room uh, when dinner's ready, then 
you know, just send a notification. Okay, so next one is the battery state card by someone called Max Rock. Um, this, this is a really impressive component. Uh, you know, they've done a, a huge amount of work to get this to um, where this is. Uh, on the face of it, it is just you know something that you can um, you know display all kind of like the battery levels uh, for your you know, various battery powered devices. You know, for me, I use it on a. Um, a, a battery dashboard which has got all my Acara devices, you know, motion sensors, temperature sensors, all that kind of stuff. Um, super, super configurable. Uh, you know, you can either have things coloured uh, to indicate their battery state. Uh, you can sort them, you know, highest to lowest, all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's, there's so much here. You could probably do an entire video on this one component itself. Um, but it doesn't stop at just batteries. You can do things like um, Wi-Fi signals, um, you know, motion sensors, and you know, if you've got a NAS, maybe you know something like a Synology that can report um, things like hard drive temperatures and things like that. Uh, then you know, you can have you know, it, a, you know, a, a panel set up to have that kind of information as well. So, really super powerful. Uh, you know, if you're going to have some kind of diagnostics page on your home assistant setup, I would definitely recommend you have something like that. Uh, installed and, and set up and running. Okay, now the next one that I've got is one you may have seen on some uh, previous videos, but I've not actually gone into any details about this one. Um, I use this in a couple of places, but uh, I don't use this to its full potential uh, because I think it's one of those ones which I would just uh, lose so much time in, in just getting deeper and deeper into what it can actually do. So this is by Thomas Loven. Um, this is Auto Entities and basically, uh, you know, with very small amounts of YAML, uh, you can get, uh, you know, this to do an awful lot uh, in terms of your entities. Now, um, you know, I've got a simple uh, card set up here where just with this very small amount of YAML, uh, I am listing out uh, any of my battery devices um, where the battery level is less than 25%. It's as simple as that. You know, it doesn't take a huge amount to make it super powerful. There are some extra bits that I've got on there on the uh, kind of like the exclude. You may not really want those in there. Um, but I, I think the thing with this particular component is, is that, uh, you, you know, you, you can play around with this an awful lot. You can very much uh, get this to be um, specific to your individual needs uh, rather than just take uh, you know what is kind of like the default bog standard stuff there um, you know if you want to get a list of lights that are turned on you can just use this uh, to do that I actually use this um, on my uh, chips cards uh, on the on my main dashboard so if I want to look at all of the the sensors or all of the lights that are on then I use that there so really really powerful uh, again, another component that you could probably do an entire video on uh, as to what is achievable with it. Some of the stuff that I've seen people actually achieve with this is, is simply amazing. So, uh, you know, if you're not using this, um, you know, definitely worth installing and having a play around with it. You just be prepared to uh, spend a little bit of time uh, getting yourself lost in, in really trying to um, you know, get the best out of it, I would say. And finally, uh, so, okay, this one may be not for everyone, um, but, uh, you know, probably everybody is aware there is an energy dashboard on Home Assistant. Uh, you know, it's, it's pretty impressive. That's probably good enough for most people, I would say. Um, but if you want to go beyond that, then, you know, hacks is where you're going to have to go into to go and get some of these, uh, these, these real enhancements ab above what comes out of the box with Home Assistant. So this one is by uh, Flixlix. Um, don't ask me where the names come from, uh, but this is the PowerFlow Card Plus. Um, they do actually do another one, you know, if this is a bit more than what you actually need. Um, but, you know, if you've got solar panels, you've got batteries, you've got an electric car, uh, charger, stuff like that, um, this is the card that you're gonna want to have um, you know, if you don't have all of those, you can still use this, you know, you, you can kind of like pull in all your other devices. So maybe you want to know how much your home assistant instance is, uh, is consuming. 
you know, and you've got power monitoring uh, on on that. You know, you can get that all hooked into this. Um, you know, it, it's just incredible. You know, it, it's a, a really lovely graphical, uh, you know, interpretation of where everything you are um, bringing in and 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 kind of like outputting and consuming uh, within your your uh, home energy ecosystem. I suppose is one way of putting it. You know, you get to see that uh, is a little bit more than what you get in the standard um, you know, energy dashboard from that point of view. So I've only just started playing around with this one. I have a couple of key things um, you know, that I want to get set up on this. So maybe that's one we'll revisit a little bit later on in another video. Um, but I know people that have got uh, you know, solar panel setups and batteries and things like that, that you know, even with uh, uh, kind of like the software that they actually use for their installed system, isn't as good as what is displayed in this card. So there you go. There are five front-end components from Hacks, which, uh, okay, apart from the last one, I think everybody will probably want to have the first four. The fifth one, uh, yeah, maybe you download it and have a play around, but I, you know, I think it's a really useful one to have. Um, I, you know, I'd love to know your thoughts about these. Are you using those? I think a lot of people are probably already using auto entities. It's such a powerful, uh, component to use um, but I'd love to know your thoughts down below in the comments are there any other ones there that maybe I should know about um, you know I've got a few others installed you'll have seen on some of the uh, the screens there but you know let me know down below in the comments but if you've enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel it really does help with YouTube's algorithms and engagement all that stuff but as always thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video bye for now